Mr. Griffin, would you like to speak to your amendment? Um, did you want to speak, John? You yield to Mr. Nyan? Yeah. All right. Thank you, Mr. Griffin, for uh, entering in this amendment on my behalf. Let me, uh, let me be short because as, as every time I keep on coming up here, I, I see less and less people in the audience. And, and I, I want to make sure that we have enough uh, cards to, to do, do a vote. Um, when, I, when I read this Warren article, um, it didn't give me a warm fuzzy of everything that I know that I have been involved in uh, since last May. Um, being, uh, once again, representing the Hampton Beach uh, area Commission, um, which, part of, by the way, part of our mission is to advise and counsel uh, local, region, and, and state government on matters that have an impact on the master plan at Hampton Beach. In this area, um, I have been involved both directly and indirectly with working with the Board of Selectmen, Town Manager, and the Department of uh, Transportation here in, the United, uh, here in uh, New Hampshire. And there has been a, a fair amount of discussions around sidewalks and sidewalks around Ocean Boulevard. The reason for this amendment, ladies and gentlemen, is that it is in my opinion, and the opinion of being involved in, in this uh, from the very beginning, that the, the words that were used in this uh, original warrant was incorrect. And I, I refer to the words construct and reconstruct. It has been my impression from the very beginning since last May when we were talking about the A block, the block down on the beach that was destroyed by fire, that was the sidewalk that was initially discussed. And then during the summer, as some of you might know, we had applied for federal funds, which we did not get, but we had applied for federal funds to redo Ocean Boulevard, which would include a redoing of the street, sidewalks, and drainage. That would have been from federal money. During that activity, the Department of Transportation assisted us in searching and, and, and getting to those funds. So one of the clear things I think we need to make sure that if this is, goes out as an advisory Warren article to, to the residents of, of Hampton, that the agreement would be, the understanding would be that the town would be obligated to maintain and repair, not to construct or reconstruct the sidewalks on State Department of Transportation property along Route 1. And we're talking right now, at least it's my impression and idea of the conversations once again that I've had with the town and Department of Transportation. Right now, we're talking about Ocean Boulevard from Havel Street to Ashworth Avenue. That's what we're talking about. We're not talking about any other part. And we're also talking about the sidewalk on the west side of Ocean Boulevard. We are not talking about the sidewalk that is owned by Dredd on the east side of Ocean Boulevard. <clears throat> it's important that people understand that if we are to complete some of our initiatives down at the beach and to follow our recommendations made by the master plan, that we continue to work in cooperation with not only the town, the region, but also the state and all state agencies and also the federal government. It is my opinion that we, in this particular case, need to continue to sit at the table with the Department of Transportation, come up with some type of, uh, some type of memorandum of understanding that both parties are pleased with working together. I can assure you, ladies and gentlemen, in my direct efforts of working with the Department of Transportation, they have been a godsend to this community with regard to putting us in front of possible federal grants. We all know that we don't have any money for capital improvements the size that we need to improve Hampton Beach. The state has come up with right now 14.5 million to do the east side. So, all I'm asking is that this amendment be approved. I'm appealing to the people that are still here at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. I'm appealing to you all that this amendment clarifies and I think would give the voters out there that are not here today a better understanding of what this 
memorandum of understanding would be. Thank you, Mr. Moderator. Thank you, Mr. Nye.